Super young, bursting with energy, with a heightened appreciation of fashion matters. They like to dress in high-end designs that would probably be seen on the streets of London or other Western capitals. They are members of the Society of Ambient Makers and Elegant People. Every year, these fashion lovers gather to celebrate their unique subculture. The celebration of this movement is also a way for those who dress up in stylish clothing, also known as sappers, to make a plea for the recognition of the Kitendi practice. They urge for the adoption of the trend in all levels of the Congolese society. This cultural phenomenon locally known as the Kitendi culture was established in 1995 following the demise of Congolese musician Stervos Nyarkos. He died on February the 10th a singer devoted to dressing flamboyantly. Despite dear Congo going through tough economic times, over 20 years later, his legacy still lives on. Over 20 years after the death of the pioneer of this practice, Kitendi is still a current affair. Every year, the number of suppose grows. The socio-economic situation in the country has not stopped this style lovers from exalting the Kitendi practice. Many of them save up to buy second-hand clothing. Others rely on relatives abroad for a steady supply of the finest clothing. Having recently featured in Guinness's new advertisement, the Sapor culture is gaining international recognition. Those having no access to the original designer clothes are customizing some clothes to their own tastes. Appearance, after all, is held in the highest regards to the Sapors. Susan Mungeli, CCTV.